Hello everybody, Luke back once again, this time to break down everything we know about Microsoft Edge's brand new kids mode. This is probably maybe one of the best browsers out there for parents who want to have some control over their kids. So if you have kids at home, worry about what they're doing online, now Microsoft will give you a free browser that will let you control what sites they can access and what sites they cannot access. And today we're going to break that all down, let you know what you need to know about this new free feature that's coming out to the Microsoft Edge browser and so much more. First though, if you're new here, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. We also have a weekly podcast. We also have a Discord group. If you'd like to chat with me, I have a live chat room for free through the Discord app. I'll put a link to that stuff down below. All right, Microsoft Edge is um, bringing out a new feature to their new browser. Now, Microsoft Edge replaced IE, which was Microsoft's legendary classic browser that slowly lost market share as Chrome and Firefox and so many others replaced it. Now Edge is actually built off of the Chrome system and it's a pretty good browser. I actually use it from time to time for my needs. And now they got something that they're hoping to use to attract the next generation of users by allowing parents to lock the browser down into a kids mode that will come preloaded with a bunch of kid friendly websites and the ability to add or remove websites that you want your kids to have access to. It's a filtered search, so safe search built in, no videos, no images, that kind of stuff will pop up that will be of a graphic nature through it. This is really nice for parents who have kids that they're looking to get access to the computer to do school research and more, but they also want to be able to control what they're accessing. Now, many of these features on other programs are a monthly subscription. If you wanna have control over what your kids do, there are very good programs that already do this, but a lot of them have a monthly cost. Now, Microsoft's gonna give this to you for free. Now, how it works is you sign them in to, through the profile setting into the kids mode feature. And there they'll find a nice um, dashboard. You can set them up for an age bracket, whatever meets your kids' needs, and in order for them to exit it, they will need your username and password to log them out of the kids mode. So they can't just exit out and go to the regular web through the regular um, Edge browser, which is a cool feature there. I think Microsoft is seeing this as the ability for parents to hand their laptop over to their kids and let them use it uh, while they're not necessarily hanging over their shoulder. If kids find a website they wanna play, for instance, a game or something out there and they wanna access it and you've blocked it, you they can request that you give them access and you'll get an alert requesting it so you can review that website and decide if you wanna add it or not. Now the older kids will also get a news feed. Now this won't be about politics or war. This will actually be from MSN for Kids News focusing on science, fun facts, animals, and more. So not current events, not politics, not wars, not that kind of stuff, but the ability for them to read a little bit about science fun things, uh, animals, and a few other topics like that. Now, Microsoft um, Kids Mode for Microsoft Edge will be available both on Windows and Mac OS. Now, on Windows, Microsoft will disable some short keys that will, would have allowed them to exit out of the Kids Mode. Now, with this on Mac OS, though, because the way Macs are built, they're not able to disable those quick um, keys there. Microsoft really seems to be hoping that by giving this away for free, they'll get the younger kids used to using Microsoft Edge. So as they become older and buy their own computers and more, they'll think of them using Microsoft Edge over maybe Chrome, Firefox, and more. It's a pretty maybe effective marketing strategy there. And I think it also for parents makes them willing to use it more as they set it up for their kids to be able to play online through the kids mode. Maybe they'll be able to learn more about it. I actually really like this. I have a daughter who is getting very proficient at using smart devices. And as she does more and more schoolwork that requires research and different things, having the ability to safely allow her to browse the web without having fear. She's very good with technology um, and it doesn't take much to accidentally end up on a part of the web that me as a parent probably doesn't want my eight and nine year old to get access to. Uh, so I really like this idea to do it. I love the fact that they can have a password. I wish that more kids modes, there are a lot of services and devices out there that have a kids mode, but it's so easy for the kids to back out and get access to the full adult profile just by exiting all the kids mode. There's no um, pen or anything that prevents them from do that. I wish more services would add that feature. So one note here, you're supposed to be able to get it by updating your Edge browser 
click on the profiles icon next to the three dots for the menu and right there there'll be options to add a profile browse as a guest and then there should be one now that says browse kids mode when my testing at the time of this recording that was not available so hopefully in the next few days it will come out well that's it for today thank you so much for your support of this channel as we continue to grow this new channel leave me a comment let me know what you think would you be using this mode do you like this additional free feature if you like this channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Check out our free weekly podcast now available on multiple ones, The Breakdown with Luke. You find it on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and so many more. And check back here for our in the show notes for our free Discord group. This is where we chat together as a group. I'm in there pretty much every day chatting with the members. If you want to talk to me directly, Discord's the way to do it. It's a free chat program you can put on your computer, you can put on your phone, tablets, whatever you want. Thank you for your support. We'll be back with another video real soon.